what's good with you, Taylor in the building? What's 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 good with you, man? Okay, yeah, pretty much like situation that I was going through, like. Well, no, no, yeah, no. We 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 doing small talk first before you actually okay. get into your story. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so uh what's uh what's good with you man? Where um where you uh where you from? Uh well, originally I was born in Chicago but I was raised in Indianapolis, just pretty much both of those cities. Oh, uh, okay, 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 okay. What made you uh what you was doing before you uh you know, thought about going into trucking? Uh, I was a tire technician, I did that and changed the oil. You you was a you was a what now? A tire technician. Oh, a ti change tire. Oh, yeah, tire technician. Tire. Okay, okay, okay. Well, you, well, you, you rocked out at places like Conrad's or some shit like that. Um, Bell Tire and Discount Tire. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm familiar with Discount Tire. That's where my son go to get his uh his tires from. Uh, well, when you got up into that, uh. When you got up in when you got up into that, that's that's when that's when you started thinking about getting into trucking. I mean, when when did the thought of when the thought of getting into trucking came in came into play? Yeah, like long story short, when child support started kicking my ass, that's when checks started getting shorter and shorter. Man, oh man, bro. <laughs> You say you you say child now don't don't let me don't don't let me overthink this. You you said child support or child right. supports with an S. No, just child support. Period. Oh, a, just, yeah, so the I kid mean, ain't even mine. But yeah. Wait 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 wait. Hold hold up. Hold 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 hold, hold up, bro. Hold up. I get it gets hold, deep. Hold up, man. First first thing first. How, is it you got child support on the one kid? One, yeah. Okay, so, all right. So you, so you went to family court. They they made you take a DNA test. I didn't take no DNA. It was like back in two thousand and five. I was nineteen. I didn't know what was going on. I'm like, uh -huh. what the fuck's going on? Fresh out of high school, I'm just like signing whatever. I'm like, I'm ready to go. I ain't understand nothing. What was what I was doing? Anything? Oh, I mean, man. Yeah, was thrown in the line of fire quick. So, old girl came up to you. You know, y'all had that. Y'all had that one hot night with each other. Old girl came up to you. I'm pregnant, and it's yours, right off the rip. Mm, so, it kind of went like that. But her, see, my family knew her family. Her grandpa. Uh, like kind of, I don't know, lived in the same area as my father, so they all knew each other. Okay, and that's where things got difficult. So I was like, "The hell with it, whatever." And he was the one that was kind of orchestrating and doing everything. So I just let him handle it. Oh wait, yo, you wait, wait, yo, you you was letting your father handle handle all that, bitch? Uh, no, or the grand her, or her grandfather? Was, yeah, her grandfather. Okay, so she went. So she went to her grandpops. And she goes, yo, uh, you know, such and such got me pregnant and all like that. And then Grandpops was like, all right, I'll take over from here. And Pretty much. And honestly, it was like a draw between me or my foster brother, who's the, um, who's the his pops. What? <laughs> yeah. I went to Dayton with Job Corps, you know, Dayton, Ohio, to try to get something going. Right. And at the meantime, when I did that, she was going ahead and, you know, screwing him. So Okay. Uh, yeah, it went like that. So the grandpops over here, over here, saying, you know, we we gonna we gonna have her to go to family court because they're gonna need, you know, they're gonna need that baby to be taken care of. So I'm assuming they was, you know, they was going to get some uh, some what do you call it? What what do you call that shit? Uh, welfare or whatever the case, you know. Oh yeah, you talking about getting all the like the pretty much benefits yeah the wick, yeah yeah uh, getting the benefits snap, the wick that, snap, snap all that. that yeah 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 so i guess uh i guess when you came back grandfather kind of confronted you then about, mm, about, in a what i in a way he kind of did he kind of like what conspired with my stepmom which i ain't gonna lie she's a snake she works against me every time 
and was trying to like tell me, hey, do this, do that. So I'm like, at the time, I'm like, hey, look, who, I need an OG to step with me and uh, I'm lying to fire. I don't know what I'm doing. Right. So um, that left me like stranded, like assed out. So I was like, okay, I'm just going down there and shoot for it, see what's going on. You know, I ain't never had no criminal cases, anything um, okay. at the time. So I'm like, all right, let me, let me go ahead and see well, what's really shaking. Get down there to she, using words and techniques and everything. You don't know if you ain't ever been in a court of law. You don't know the terminology. So mm-hmm. I was getting lost real quick. I'm like, mm, let me dissect what she's trying to say. If I had Google and all that at the time, you know, in 05, wasn't nothing like that advanced. Right. So I would have been looking stuff up then. But I was trying to intercept what she was saying, but couldn't even make out with it. I only certain bits and pieces. Wow. So you, so at, at that time, you, you just, I mean, at that time, you know, you kind of like thought it was yours. and You you pretty much stepped up to the plate like, you know, okay, well, you know, this is my baby. I'm I'm about to do what I need to do. And then bam, bam, boom. Then when you, you know, when you start getting your your jobs, because like these jobs, man, like, I mean, for for bros that that be hit with 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 child support. And I, I mean, you know, I kind of seen it firsthand, you know, I mean, not me personally, but I've seen it firsthand that, you know, I've seen this one cat, you know, he was working with me. I was working at uh, Nestle back in the day. And, um, you know, we started out at, at about 10, you know, about 10, $11 an hour. And, uh, you know, this dude do 40 hours a week. You know, about, you know, about a couple of hundred, you know, about three, four, three, four, about three, four hundred dollars. And this dude's paycheck is like, is like about a hundred bucks, man. I'm over here like, fuck. I I even seen. Yeah, that was at Bell Tire. Yeah, I I, I even seen a one cat coming home with sixteen dollar paychecks like. Bro, where are all that money going? I mean, mm-hmm. I mean, like he was. He told me he was like, "Yeah, this this for child support." Uh, how many kids you got? He was like, "I only had the one." And I was like, "They, mm-hmm. I was like, they doing you dirty like that, man." Definitely, that's, that's crazy. Now they try to say you can get a modification, but that modification is so hard, and you got to jump through hoops and hurdles to get it. Mm-hmm. And it's like you almost got to have a lawyer to even like get the stuff straight, or else you'd be, you know, like I said, they're gonna f you real quick. Yeah, that's, they ain't got to, they ain't gonna hesitate to lock you up neither. That's another thing they love doing, threatening it, you. You know what? That's you know what? That's that's crazy. That you know when 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 you want, you know when you when you know that the baby is yours, and you want to take care of it, but you got to go through all this issues with with the baby's moms and the courts and shit that just makes it that just makes it hard for the legitimate dad to really to really step up and do anything and and i mean you know i i mean don't get me wrong if it's your baby if you if it's your baby then you is right it's only right for you to take care of it i mean there's there's been plenty of cats out there that has been determined that it is their baby and they just walk away but for the dudes that's 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 really want to take care of their kid it makes it hard for them because you know the baby moms is always on some bs the court is on some bs you know you try to tell them well i'm trying to get a better job or something like that and then you know if you get if you fall behind they take your they take your driver's license like bro how am i going to get back how am i going to get back and forth to work if you take my driver's license so yeah, I had that happen where they suspended it before. Wow. So not only that, they suspend any license. It could be the barber's license, whatever. I mean, they, they, yeah, that's how they play that. You have a liquor license working in a liquor store. They take that too. Wow. So brother, man. So sometime down the line, you come to find out. That the baby isn't yours. How how did you come to find that it was out? Speculation. No, it was speculation almost like from the get. It was like back and forth, like, is it mine or is it not? But I'm like, okay, look, 
I already took one for the team. I mean, I have to ride out with it. I can't really leave him masked out. That's how I looked at it like that. So mm. somebody got to go ahead and put him underneath the wing and, you know, teach him something. Right. So I'm doing that as a kid. I mean, coming from the streets and stuff, that's the mentality I had. And all the old schools are kind of embedded at in me. So I was like, all right, I'm going to go ahead and do what I got to do with him. Cool. Grab him. Do what I got to do. Hustle. Provide for him. And, you know, right. like, and right. especially our community and the black community, the moms like to play games. Right. And they like to try to hold, withhold the kid from the father. And then, so they can pretend and protrude, oh, he's a deadbeat. He's this. He's that. Right. He ain't holding up his end, which is not the case. It's just what you wanted to pitch your narrative and exactly. play the victim and stuff. Exactly. And that's, that's how it is. And then getting court, oh, he's not doing this. He's not, I can't if you're not going to allow me. I'm not going to do that. He's right. If you don't, if you, if, it, 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 it's, it's kind of hard, it, it's kind of messed up when, you know, when females feel some kind of way about you, but then when there's, but then, you know, you, you know, you there's a baby involved. You know, and and at that time you thinking that is yours, and you stepping up to the plate to do the to 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 do the good thing that you're supposed to be doing, but the 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 female is still on some BS type shit. How you know how oh, yeah. how yeah, how that, that works real quick? You know, yeah, they, it's not logic at all. They just into their feelings and however they feel, that's what they take it out on the next person. Mm-hmm. And then they mean, like so they don't care about the kids' well being or nothing. I mean, only time I'm gonna be real about this is when they care about the kids is when it's tax time, mm. Mother's Day, back to school, so mm. they can get a bunch of likes on Facebook, Instagram mm. and stunt. Mm. And the kids looking the other way like I ain't feeling this mm. and then lying saying I'm mother of the year, all that and then they want all the respect and but it get deeper because then in it, like our community they get mad and be like, Oh, this is why you can't handle a strong black sister all day. You go on the back of the night because you get tired of fighting. Hey, they, they, they quit. They, they, you know, females, females is quick to come to, to come with that trope right there, man. Uh-huh. I'm, a, I'm a strong, independent black female, and I don't need this, and I don't need that. But, yeah, oh, okay, well, stay strong, black woman. I, I give you the power fist. All right, so down the line. Uh, how how did you come to how how did you come to find out that it it wasn't yours? Did did you did you finally you know decide to go and? Are we gonna get to that? this right now? This I'm gonna say maybe the beginning of this year she was gonna tell me. Right. Oh well, yeah, I think we need a test. Um, she was like, yeah, I, you know, I just want to apologize. He's well, hold on. Sure how, how how old's the baby now? He just turned sixteen. <sighs> All right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. But, like, I'm going to tell you something I figured out. Back in, I want to say it was 07, mm-hmm. she let my, I was looking, I don't know how I found out, but I found this out. She let my foster brother claim him on the taxes. That's what really got us going. I said, oh, oh, okay. What? So he gets to claim gets to claim him on taxes, but that's me, that's cool. I don't know, you know, they, it's bad enough when they get taxes, they don't like to share. Okay. I'm like, you know what, man? I was like, oh, this is where we going. So that's his kid. So you wasn't even claiming. Okay. Okay, so you. That's how. I so wait a minute. Hold up. You. You, you, you paying child support while she's letting another dude claim the kid? Mm-hmm. And then she told me that you're like, all right, go get a, you can get a hold of him. He's on Facebook, that type of retarded stuff. And then on top, because I got another kid with her. That one I ain't worried about. Okay. And I got a daughter with her that looks just like me, acts like me. I know that's not. But she gave this kid away and to her stepmom, and she only knew her at the time. I want to say six, seven months, and gave that kid away to her stepmom in Jacksonville, Florida, which she's dead now. Our she was cool. At least took care of the kid, you know, so um, I'm not hating on that. So what happened is when she died, she went ahead and got her. And I'm like, see, you should, and then uh, my kid didn't really like how things was portraying up north in Indy. So right. she shot back down with her grandfather to Jacksonville and stayed down there. Okay. So, I mean, so it was really I only got one with it, and that would be my daughter. Okay, but how did you find out? The first kid wasn't yours, though. That's how. How did you find no, out? No, she just recently came out this the beginning of the year and told. Oh, and told like, you. So I, you wasn't able right. to. So was was you still? Are are you still able to? You know, get a DNA test just to make sure. 
Because if you still, if, if she told you that the kid wasn't yours and you still paying child support for that kid, you know, even though that kid's 16, so you still got another four years to go, bro. Uh, you, you, you might want to, you, you might want to go to court and be like, yo. <laughs> no, that's oh, coming oh. up at the end of the month, though, because I recently found out because of something else that happened. I said, let me call the courts for some reason when I called them. They, and this is another thing I don't like, like the family that I have. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Mail goes there and I need to change the address quick. But, um. So they was like, yeah, you got a court appearance on the 28th of this month. I ain't nothing about, like, for the custody hearing of him. So something went down to where now they need, I don't know, like, what's going on. Because I know I heard she let him stay with some neighbors in this community when she thought she was balling with the dope boy boyfriend she had. Right. That fell apart quick. So now, all of a sudden, now it's like a custodial hearing and stuff. And something I ain't know about what's like I said, my stepmom could have let me know, but she always wants to work against me with my enemies to do me in. But what so about you? Like, yeah, here. That, now I'm I'm hearing you talking about your stepmom and 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 the trials and tribulations that y'all two got with each right. other. But what about your father, man? I mean, oh, that is not gonna happen. I mean, he and don't get me wrong; he's always worked had to get a job and stuff like that with General Motors, all that. And stuff like that in that nature. But my pops, I mean, how can I put it, man? I'm going to say this. He would look out in certain ways. I'm going to give him that. But mm-hmm. as being a father and teaching you something, that's not going to happen. He was in the streets oh. tricking money out, blowing it off with his friends, getting high, drunk, whatever. I mean, he was old school. So what? back in the like, if you seen Boston George off a blow, he was doing stuff like that. And he really wasn't worried about raising no kids and even told me at the time, you know, hey, that's why my middle name is what it is. You know, he's like he was just in time and he was drunk, so I said, All right, you meant that <laughs> and I mean <laughs> we, That's his <laughs> nick that's his nickname, just in time, huh? <laughs> yeah, he had his little jokes going, you know, and then before he fell off when he started he was drinking good and he had the crown royal, I said, Yeah, you fell in yourself. So I knew he wasn't lying, but yeah, so uh-huh. I mean, that's pretty much what it is. I would be left alone with, in the 90s in Indianapolis and Chicago. I was left alone for a while all throughout the night, all that. I mean, it, you had to fend for yourself. All right, so you uh, so you stepped up. You 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 know, you kind of like stepped up. What uh, what what route did you go to uh to get your to get your CDL? You did did you go to the traditional school or you you went through a company? Okay, and I figured out, man. When I was at Bell Tire, I was an old school um, driver for mm-hmm. Bell Tire. You know, from the city, from Chicago, we was chopping it up talking. Mm-hmm. He told me to go to KLLM, but I think at that time I had something on my record. I forgot what it was. It was like uh, my old battery case. One mm-hmm. of these chicks that got me like railroaded. Okay, so you so yeah, so it was still fresh, so the company wouldn't even. It was like twenty fourteen, yeah. And they said so it was about five years. They said it had to be five years after the probation right. date. I'm like, ah, oh, well, I ain't waiting that long. I'm gonna go with whoever's gonna take me. So I went to Stevens um, Transport. Okay, Stevens Transport brought you in. Oh, hello. Yeah, hello. Oh, oh, okay. I thought I, I think I lost you there for a second. So Stevens Stevens Transport brought you in, right? Oh, okay, okay. What was your What was your experience with them getting your CDL? Don't get me wrong; they put you through a decent school. That school they put you through. Um, it's either you go to Florida. Mm-hmm. I think it was called Tampa Truck Driving School. Oh, okay. But I went to the one in Tennessee because Tennessee is closer to where you know where we at. Right. So I went to Tennessee truck driving school. Um, honestly, I was real efficient. They teach you what the ninety alley dock, okay. bunch of backing, you know. So I, I was set for any like little road test when I get out of there. All it's right. just when they do, you know do the orientation, you know you got a room with somebody. And right. The guy I was rooming with was from Houston. You know, and was playing that I'm, I'm a tough guy. This I'm a street guy. This. I'm like, look, do your thing, man. If you get caught up in anything, don't 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 throw me underneath the bus. You see, you. that's 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 why I don't. That you know, uh, when when I when I came out and U.S. Express was like, yeah, we we gonna put you in a we we gonna put you in a room with a roommate. I was like, no, you're not. 
And I was like, I, I, I'm, I'm good with that. Well, yeah, but that's that's how we do it. I'm like, no, is it gonna be is it gonna be in the room with a female? Because if it's gonna be in the room with a hard leg that I don't know, I'm not fucking with that. <laughs> I'm not Dad, trying. You to, don't know what he got going on. Yeah, I, exactly. Like I don't know what he got going on. I, I don't know if he. You know, bo and all like that. That's why I wasn't in the in in the team, and when they when they threw that up to me too. But no, I got uh, you know, luckily, you know, the person that was supposed to come, you know, he didn't come, and I end up getting the room by myself anyway. But if he would have came, I would have just told them. I would have said, hey, you know, just just give me a room by myself. Y'all could just reimburse uh-huh. it that way. Um, all right, all right, so. Uh, we, I guess we can fast forward because obviously you got your license uh, through them. Uh, what was it? What was it like uh, for the obligation? Because you know, Steve. You know, back then, you know, that's when Stevens was over here talking about. You know, you had to do what about what a about year. a year? About a year. Uh-huh. Now, did they have you sign? Uh, some type of. Oh, you signing all that? Yeah. Uh, you so, signing a lot. So, so you, so you had to sign like a financial, like a financial aid all agreement that. and all like that. Right to pay them back, and if you walk away, which I, it's funny because they ended up firing me and then saying that um I quit and left me stuck with the whole um what you call truck school note. <sighs> Wait a minute. And it was all because that guy from Houston was drinking, and he I told him put his you know his beer up. Duffel bag, he wouldn't do it. I said, "All right, that's on you." Whoa, whoa, so checked, whoa, 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 whoa! The yeah. same dude that you was that that you was uh, in the room, yeah. in the room would end up being right. your trainer or some shit. Nah, he was just a roommate for the orientation. Oh, uh, for the... he graduated wherever he came from. Oh, hold you up, know, wait, 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 uh, Taylor, 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 hold up. You you got fired before you actually got in the truck. Exactly. Hold on, oh, hold on. Let me see if I'm hearing this right. You, they, they fired you before you even got in the truck. Yeah, I didn't even get in the truck. But they gave, but you, but you did get your CDL from right. Them. I got my CDL. Oh, okay, right, correct. Okay, so what, what the hell, bro? I mean, before yeah, and they you said I didn't me. tell on dude, though. That's what I said. You know, you just as guilty. You should have uh, told us that he was drinking and whatnot. I'm like, I ain't holding his hand. I didn't come here with him. That was on him, and I told him that's his business. Well, what, 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 wait a minute. What they got to do with how, First thing first, how the hell they find out that the other cat was, was doing anything anyway? Oh, I told him to put it up because I already knew what he was doing. He was leaving it in that little mini fridge. I said, bro, that's a sucker move because they check in 24-7 if they clocking us in and out. Okay. You got to reload up that key card. There's common sense. They going in there looking for something. Oh, you he's did, not yeah. street smart. Okay, so they so so the 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 cleaning maids must have exactly. came up in there. And tipped them off. Got you seen seen the bottles and shit. Tipped mm-hmm. off, tip, tipped off the orientation people, and, right. and what they 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 pulled you and him together, or they pulled you? Uh, oh no, I, 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 I'm gonna tell you how this happened. I'm, you know, I'm like strategic. He texted me and said something was going on. Right. I said I don't trust him, so I walked right past the interrogation room, whatever they had him in, and the old school white dude looked like somebody a detective by first forty eight had him in there. Uh-huh. And as soon as I seen him drop he, as soon as I looked at him and he dropped his head, I said, Yeah, he can already roll on me and say some BS. Okay. I already know he's gonna yeah, he can already throw everybody up underneath the bus. As soon as his head went down, I said, oh, it's over. I just went in the room and start packing. Okay, but wait, 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 wait. So the so he in there talking, you know, over here, you know, I, I'm assuming he's as, uh, as something of responsibility or whatever, and that and that's no, on. Nah, and he that, said and I had like three beers because he had an eighteen pack, and him and his boys. He said, Man, "Wait, wait, 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 wait." He, like he wait, wait, he tried. Out. Wait, wait, he he said that you was drinking. Yeah, he said because he didn't want to be caught with all them beers, and he's like, maybe if he only had a uh, couple, they would nah, let him go. Nah, nah, my G, you, nah, man, don't please don't tell me you you. You you let them come up in there and and hit you with that. You should have hit you should have hit them motherfuckers with the one two. Like nah, bro. 
I, I that that's his shit. But I guess, I, I guess, being that both of y'all was in the room, or being that both of y'all was sharing the room, I guess the way Stevens look at it is that y'all y'all two share the share the responsibility, pretty much. I honestly, Texas, that's where it's at, and I know Texas is law real good, especially watching first forty eight. Mm-hmm. It's like one, you know, one is a party to a crime. If you're both in there and one does something and you're in the same vicinity of the area and know about it, you're just as guilty as him. Yeah. So I didn't want to argue with it because I know how they do it. And, they, you know, in that state. So at that point in time, I'm like, I'm just done talking, bro. I said, I can already tell where you're going with it. Just go ahead and shoot me a ticket back up north, which was a 50-hour bus ride. <laughs> he gets a little four-hour bus ride. And while I'm on the mega bus going from Dallas all the way back up to um, what, Chicago and then to Indianapolis. So, I mean, it, like I said, it was a waste of time, but in a way it wasn't. I got the license, but still, uh, all right. no, that wasn't really on me. I just told him I ain't even really indicating nobody. He said, so who can you tell on? I said, look, man, just give me a ticket. It's over with. <laughs> you said, fuck it. I'm not about to say this. This bounced me back up the way. All right. So, I told him, so, yeah, done so, deal. So, you, so you back up in Indiana. Uh, now, the, the, the current situation uh that that you that you recently had and that's you know and that's then that's what generated this uh conversation so uh, was you at jnr schwugel or was you at western express which which one was first i was western flyer express i was with them oh okay so western flyer express now, which right. which which one was first, the uh, them or J and R Schwugel, where you had where you had the same problem as uh as Brett? No, nah, that was Western Flyer. I was with them. All right. So what what happened? What happened? What happened with them, man? Okay, so I get with them. Um, long story short, they give you a rental car. Boom. Yeah, I didn't know you had to pay for the bill yourself. In the midst of all that, I'm like, all right, let me go ahead and shoot down there. I guess, this like, this is in Dayton, no. This is this is in Dayton, Ohio, too, right? That's where the truck broke down. Oh, that's where the right? truck broke down. Oh, okay, okay. Well, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Get uh, yeah, go ahead. Tell you know how how you started with them all the way up to where the truck broke down. Okay, go okay, ahead. Yeah, they shoot you that. So then I get like what almost the St. Louis boom cop pulls me over and shoots me a ticket talking about you speaking. My buddy seen you going fast or something like that. So wait, wait, wait. So you wait, wait, wait. You, you, you in the truck or you in the car? No, no, in a rental car. Oh, you in the rental car? Oh, you got a ticket in the rental car. Damn. All right. Yeah. So I I noticed. So his buddy, whatever. Now if his buddy called me, then that's different. But when you guys told me I was doing eighty, so. I ain't no way we're going to court about that. You just went off whatever your off duty buddy was talking about. Right. So, nah, that's not valid. And I'm like, all right. So um, then they give me a load. The truck that um, Western gave me was like infested, had roaches. I said, nah, bro, I can't, I can't deal with this. Give me another truck. So they put me out three days. Mm-hmm. And, you know, on the weekend, they ain't going to do nothing for you anyway. So, all right, cool. Then they give me a load. I went from Charlotte, you know, from Oklahoma City to Charlotte. It was cool. Mm-hmm. Then I got the jersey from Charlotte, and I noticed something. I said, let me check that top bunk, because I was just in a rush. I'm, I'm behind the bills. I need to make money and catch up. Right. Top bunk had, like, roach nests and stuff. I said, come on. And well, then I hurried up and went, right, I hurried up and went to Home Depot, spent some of my last money to clean it up, because I'm like, I can't have none of my stuff infected. And then throwing everything away, again, you just losing more money than you're making. Oh, hold up. Hold up, man. This is this is the second truck that was roach infested. Yeah. So the top the, the, bunk where the, I didn't even bother to check. The the first truck did did you pick that up off the lot or you had to go and recover that? No, it was um off the lot not off they lot, you know, and then I was like, I ain't I thought it was bed bugs at first and then some lady said, Nah, them was roach um, baby roaches that hatched. You mean to tell me they? You, you mean to tell me they got motherfucking equipment out there like that that they ain't motherfucking detailing? Nah, they have a third party detailing and they ain't doing nothing. Nah, man, that's 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 that's, that's bad business right there. What what was the year of the truck? 
Like, I think it was a 2020. A 2020? Right. That you know, was infested in, like that? Right. Oh, man. It, come on. Come on, drivers. Y'all got to do